Alright guys, so in this video you guys are going to learn how to do a basic balayage touch-up. Now remember, this is done in a professional salon by a professional. So this is my friend Katie. She has blonde hair as you guys can see. It's a little yellow. It definitely needs some touching up and she really likes the balayage look because it's very natural, simple, and very easy for her to upkeep because you don't have to be in the salon you know, every like four to six weeks getting your highlights touched up. So here is our before and after. Unfortunately, the lighting was in the salon. Um, this is the after. It is very hard to see because we had a crazy, crazy wind storm, like wind, thunder, lightning, rain. I mean, it was nuts. So this is the type of lighting we're dealing with. It's fine, you guys can still see it. So I threw in a shot, you guys. That's a tree that has fallen over on our patio at the salon and there's like stuff everywhere. It was just nuts. Okay, so I'm actually trying out a new color for me. This is by Jack Wynn. I'm using the Paint Lightning Powder and um, I got a bunch of their stuff to try out, which I'm super excited. It is a hair color line designed by Jack Wynn, a professional stylist, and I'm just going to go by the instructions that they tell me on how to mix this so this is what the paint looks like so it is just a whitish yellowish powder and I'm going to mix one part um, the powder and two parts developer like it says I'm actually going to be doing 40 volume because we want to get some good significant lift so I'm basically getting it the to the consistency of icing and then what I'm doing is adding in one, either 1 16th or 1 8th depending on how much you mix this time I'm using 1 16th since I'm doing open air balayage so I did a few hair dry gams for you guys so when you guys are thinking about doing balayaging, there are a few different techniques you use. I wanted to pull out a strand and do a V and show you guys. These are three different methods you can use. So you can see the one on the very far left is more of a face framing piece. The one in the middle is going to have the painted on the sides and then slightly in the middle. And the last one is going to have two painted sides, one to paint up the middle, and then this last one is basically almost the entire V painted. Now, these are going to help us for when doing our actual hair painting. So I'm going to be doing a partial touch up. You guys can see I'm starting kind of near the parietal ridge area, and I'm going to be taking three V sections out of this. So I'm going to clip the top up and out of my way, and since I'm doing open air balayage, um, you can section your pieces out with cotton if you feel like that gives you a little bit more separation. So I'm pulling this V out and I am applying my Jacqueline lightener onto her hair. See how I am softly starting to paint this on? We're doing surface painting guys. So you don't wanna go all the way through the entire section of hair. You're painting the very surface doing very soft light strokes. Now a trick to doing this is using a really good brush. I'm using the Fremar brush. This is the smaller size, which is seriously the most amazing brush for doing balayage. So you guys can see, I did the two edges of my section and then I'm bringing that down to her ends. I'm not painting through her ends because she's already as blonde as we want her to be. And then I'm softly painting that middle part of that section to just give her some brightness. So I'm gonna do another section in the middle, doing my V, painting it on the sides and then softening up that middle section and moving on to our last section. Now, my whole purpose with doing this is to brighten up all of her natural color and I'm also going to be kind of just giving her a very natural, very soft look. So. That is finishing up that section. You guys can see how far I took the color down, basically into her pre-existing blonde, because again, I don't need to lighten that. If you do have a client that wants it lighter and brighter, by all means, take those sections and paint them up. So I'm going on to my next section, and I am just laying all of this out. I'm just kind of mimicking the same part line that I did for my previous section, just bringing it up a little bit higher. I'm sorry if you can hear Willow in the background. She's playing in her playpen right now. All right, moving on. So we're going to be doing four different V sections on this. You guys can see from the diagram, I am brick layering. Now this is going to create a very soft, very organic movement so that the highlights aren't all in exactly the same place. So I'm doing the same thing, painting the edges on the sides, bringing them up pretty high because this is all surface painting in the back. I want it to look like she has natural highlights from the sun. So again, bringing it up on the sides. A big tip is to start a little bit further away from like right at the root area on the scalp because you wanna softly bring that up, not make it like 
a straight line. So what I like to do is just kind of work from the middle and then work my way up and work my way down, bringing it to a very soft transition towards that middle piece where you're supposed to just kind of soften that inside line. So you're gonna continue to move up the head, doing the same exact thing until you're on your last section. Again, brick laying your balayage lightener pieces is going to be something that gives it a very subtle, very organic feel at the end. And you guys can see how I brick laid it and put in all of that beautiful lightness in the back of her head. So now moving towards the sides, I'm actually going to be separating a mohawk section from the top and putting that away because I'm going to work on her sides and then move to the top mohawk section for her hair. Um, because she moves it all different directions, this is the way that I've decided to do it. So I'm taking diagonal back sections and this is going to really allow us to get some really pretty movement of the way that her color is in the front. Every single one of these sections that I do is intentional for the way that I want her hair to fall. So you guys can see I am doing very close to the front of her face because we want that brightness in there. I'm bringing one piece up the middle and then I'm going to be doing that back piece. Um, and so basically she's having three highlights going up into her hair. Then moving on to the next section, you just work your way up in a diagonal back sectioning. And another tip too, when you have pieces of hair in the front that are a little bit smaller or like baby hairs, if you pinch that V up a little bit higher when you first put in your initial color and then bring your hands down, it helps for you to get a little bit better control over where you're putting your balayaged pieces in. So once I have finished that section, I'm just gonna continue to move up the head. Now keep in mind, if your client has their hair parted in a fixed spot, you wanna go off their part line. Now because Katie likes to move her hair kind of all over, she definitely parts it more towards the left side, but she moves it kind of all over and she likes to pull it up and away for her face. So I want her color to be able to wear perfectly for whatever side she has her hair or if she has her hair up and out of her face. And then I always like to go in and do some closer up and bigger chunks right in the temple area because that's gonna be kind of in her fringe position. Moving towards the top of the head, in that mohawk section, I'm going to be working straight across the top so you guys can see my diagram. I'm going to be working in straight sections, moving from the back of the crown area to the front of the hair. So I'm just kind of getting my section. You guys can see how thick I'm doing. Remember, the amount of brightness depends on how thick or thin your sections are and how much you are actually balayaging into the hair. So again, I'm going to be doing the same exact method that I was doing for all of the previous sections towards the back of the head. I like to start off with kind of a section mimicking the back where we did the crown area and in the back of the head. And then as I move towards the face, I get to add a little bit more blonde and a little bit more blonde until I'm painting almost the entire section in the very front two to three um, little sectionings that I do because we want the front to have those money pieces, which is what everyone calls them. Um, so basically that just means that those are your brightest pieces. Clients tend to like it brighter around their face. So that's why I like to kind of start off a little bit softer and then really pop in some of those bright pieces towards the very front. So you guys can see here in this next diagram, I am doing way more painting towards the front of her face, like I said. So I'm really saturating that hair by just on the surface, but going a little bit closer to her scalp area with a little bit more power in where I'm adding this lightener in. So it's not just a V, it's really going in and doing a lot of surface painting. And then for this very front piece, you guys can see I have this pulled up pretty high and tight so that I have some good control because these front pieces definitely have a few more wispies in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just going and basically surface painting almost that entire section where I see her natural hair is. I don't like to bring it right onto her root area, like right onto the scalp because I don't want it to be a, um, a harsher line when it grows out. So I do like to keep that a little bit soft and diffused right near her scalp area. So you guys can see that is just going on super, super soft. 
and all of these sections are going to mimic the sunlight. So I allow this to process for about 45 minutes. What I do is I just kind of rub my fingers on one of the last sections that I did. If I see the tone is where I want it, then I am good to go. So I went and rinsed her hair really good. I made my concoction of 9P and Clear by Redken Shades EQ just to help kind of knock out some of this yellow. I don't want her to hair to be silvery or pearly white, but I do want to take a little bit of that out. Then I'm going to grab my Olaplex number two, my favorite, oh my gosh, best, best system ever. Olaplex is the most incredible thing ever. Her felt, hair felt so good, but I am skipping ahead. So I let this sit on her hair for 10 minutes. And then we go into the styling. So to style her hair, I just did very simple because Katie likes her hair done very simple. So I just took a little bit of Evo's Shape Vixen and applied this into her root area. Gives you some great volume. And then I used End Doctor, which is just an end sealer, to help seal her cuticle and allow her toner to last for a very long time. And when I blow dry hair, I like to give clients maximum volume so I'm just blow drying it in the opposite direction that it sits on her head so pretty much putting everything high into the sky and then I'm going to add some really gorgeous curls now everyone asks me about my curling iron this is actually called a style winder curling iron this one's by Paul Mitchell um, another company bioionic makes a curling iron just like this it is super super easy to use and if you are a hairstylist this helps to save your wrist because the actual part of the curling iron like the the um, clip part actually spins around so you don't have to rotate your wrist as much which is super super amazing so I'm just taking larger sections to give her a very soft beachy feel to her hair So because I said we were doing, you know, all of this indoors and getting most of her pictures and stuff from indoors, you guys can see how natural and beautiful this looks on Katie's hair. It looks so stunning, so soft. We didn't use any foils. We didn't use any cotton, any paper, nothing. And I am super impressed by this balayage liner. It was very easy to use and I love the consistency and how light and bright it got her hair because her hair is about a level seven natural blonde. So this gave it the perfect sun kissed look and her hair is so healthy and happy now. I mean, I wish this would have been outside lighting so you guys would be able to really see what it looks like. but. It did such a good job and I love balayaging. It is so much fun and if you feel a little bit intimidated by it, if you've not been a balayage person, just grab a mannequin or one of your coworkers and start trying because it can really have some beautiful effects on the hair. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you in my next tutorial. Adios.